Welcome to this brief guide of WinLive Pro Synth 9, where we'll explain in few minutes the main features of this software. We remind you that WinLive, unlike other software like this, is not only an advanced karaoke software, but it's a specially great tool for managing your musical repertoire, and therefore ideal for live musicians, singers, bands and entertainers. WinLive is compatible with the most used file formats. With just one software we can easily manage MIDI files, CAR, MP3, WAVE, CDG, video, PDF, text files, YouTube link and many other. Being the choice of thousands of users all around the world and thanks to the incredibly positive customer's feedback, WinLive has quickly become the absolute reference software in its category. Important. Make sure that in the menu bar you can see your name as username or demo version. If not, send us an email or send us a message on WhatsApp. Well, after you start the program, you should see this screen. We are in performance mode. Performance mode allows us to play our songs with extreme ease and surprising immediacy. We remind you that many of the live features of the WinLive can be recalled by keyboard shortcuts, avoiding the use of mouse, often inconvenient and not truly really immediate, especially for musicians that are performing live. WinLive is available both for Windows and Mac. However, this video tutorial was made on Windows. There are some differences between the two versions. For example, the YouTube feature is not available on Mac. WinLive has got different execution modes. The classic drag and drop of a single file, for example a MIDI file, an mp3 or a wave a cdg a cdg zip a video file YouTube file An image Or a text file Drag and drop of multiple files The management of physical folders in your hard drive But we highly recommend you the use of the database to better appreciate the full software potential and especially for memorizing all the changes you will do to your files. Well, let's proceed in order. Let's go into database mode and we'll start importing our songs. 
Database import is virtual, therefore we can import hundreds of thousands of files without using any space on our hard drive. On the left we can search for the folder from which we want to import files. If the folder, for example, is on the desktop, you can simply click on the desktop icon and open up the chosen folder with a double click. Let's select some songs. or even all songs, and import them in the database into one of the 39 song lists. Let's say for example the song list 1. Compatible files are among the most used, like MIDI, CAR, MP3, WAVE, CDG, video, text, PDF, images, and more and more. Well, we've created our database. In the database mode, we can also modify some parameters, like for example a song's title. We can add the author. Move a song into another song list, and so on. You can get a list of database functions by right-clicking with your mouse. Now, let's go into playback mode, performance mode. Press the F1 key and our song list the one in which we imported some songs, will open up. The files in black are the MIDI files, MIDI or CAR. The ones in red are audio files, MP3 or WAV. In blue there are CDG files. In green, the video files. Use the arrow keys to select the song we want to play and press Enter. If we open a MIDI file, the MIDI will be played using our internal synth that improves incredibly the sound quality avoiding the use of the sounds of internal sound cards, far below the quality of our sounds. Let's listen to the sound of this MIDI file. Well, while playing a song, press F1 again to open up the song list. I light another song and press the space bar in order to book the chosen song, so that it will play right after the song that is playing finishes or we can directly switch to the booked song by pressing enter. The Q key to fade in to the booked song or the Y key to mix with the book and song. Notice how the songs we are already played will be underlined, in order to remind us not to play them a second time. If we want to book more songs at once, we can select them by pressing the insert key or right-clicking with the mouse on the book song button. These songs will be imported into F10, the song list reserved for a temporary playlist. Let's see now how to search for a song. In this case we have created a database with more than 7000 songs and the advice we are giving you is to add all of your songs into WinLive database. Open up the search function by pressing the backspace key or the icon on the bottom left. We can search for a song using various criteria, search by title, artist, genre and so on. Once you've written the word to search for, for example, moon, if we press tab key, we'll find the first song that satisfies the search criteria. 
pressing it again will show you the second one and so on. In order to show all the songs that satisfy the search criteria, we can press on the title button or press Ctrl T. Same procedure if we want to search by artist, genre and so on. Let's see now how to modify songs. Each file can be modified according to various parameters. For MIDI files we can modify for example the keynote, the speed, and using the mixer we can change the instruments for each channel, and many other parameters. For example, we can change every single sound of the drum key. and a brand new function, we can change the rhythm of song, choosing from a wide range of rhythms in Wheel Live Library. In this example we will see how to change the rhythmic structure of a MIDI file from original to dance. Save the changes and every time you will play the song, it will play with the dance rhythm. We can come back to the original rhythm by pressing the original style button. As you notice it, we can change various parameters if working on MIDI files. That's why MIDI files, together with our internal synth, is a winning combination that allows you to customize your backing tracks. For audio formats, we can change and save keynote and tempo. As for video files, we can only change the keynote. For YouTube files, we cannot change keynote or tempo, but we can only decide the starting point for the video. The YouTube function, of course, is not available offline. We remind you that in order to use this function, you will need to accept the terms and conditions of YouTube service. For example, it's not possible to download the songs from YouTube or use it in public. We'll see these functions in details later. Now, we'll see the locator points. Reference points for the song. Often in live MIDI files already have locator points. If not, we can add them either in MIDI files, in MP3, and in video files. In this way, we can customize the song playback by jumping from a locator point to another one by pressing the number keys on our PC keyboard. For example, we can jump from the intro, to the chorus, to the verse, and again to the chorus.
Another use of locator points is to skip intros, especially of video files. Let's see now an example. Let's go into edit mode, select a video and add a locator point. After establishing the perfect positioning of the locator point, skip the intro simply by forcing the video to start from that locator point. Let's go back to performance mode and that's all. In few seconds we avoided using other programs for cutting and trimming videos. Same thing can be done for MIDI files and audio files, MP3, WAVE and CDG. Let's see now some keyboard shortcuts. As we said previously, we recommend the use of the PC keyboard for an immediate access to all the Live features. For MIDI files, by pressing X, we'll open up or close the mixer. By pressing the M key, we can mute or unmute the melody track. If we press the B key, we can solo the bass and drum channels. If we press the D key, we will solo the drum channel. By pressing the A key, we will unmute all channels. And by pressing the N key, we will reset the file as we saved it with muted or unmuted channels. By pressing the U key, we will solo the melody track. By pressing the E key, we will see the note positions on a pentagram. And by pressing it again, we will switch to graphic mode. The number keys 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, will let you jump from a locator point to another one. With the plus and minus key, we can change the keynote of the song. Page up and page down change the speed of the song. Pressing the T key will restore the original tempo. By pressing the C key we will see the chords bar, if any. By pressing Shift W we can change the view mode of the lyrics. The W key changes the font size of the lyrics. By pressing Y, we'll mix to the next song. By pressing Q, we can fade into the next song. In this example, we'll fade to the stop. Let's dive into the karaoke monitor feature. Professional versions of WinLive, Pro and ProSynth have the access to a second window that can be used to split the user view and the audience view. It's possible to change the font size, customize the background and the view mode. Settings for the karaoke monitor can be modified by right-clicking with the mouse on performance mode 
or by going on Tools, Options and Karaoke and Pictures. It's even possible to add messages for the audience by clicking on the subtitles feature under the view mode menu. If the file has got lyrics, we can quickly associate to it a text file or a PDF using the database and uploading the text file under the text column and a PDF or an image or a video file under the media column. Let's see an example. Let's go into the database and select the song list 3 in which we previously imported some songs. Let's associate to the song Fragile the lyrics using a txt file. A PDF file to as time goes by. An image file to summertime. and a video to this last one. Let's go back to performance mode and this is the result. This feature is very useful for musicians that want to recreate the feeling of a real music stand. Now let's try to add the lyrics and chorus for this song, Summertime. We'll give you a quick example so we'll upload only a small part of lyrics and some chords. Let's go into edit mode and we can start adding lyrics by clicking on the lyrics and chords synchronization icon. A window will open up. In this window we can write or import lyrics. You can choose the sync method, by line, by word, or by syllable. Let's choose for example by syllable. Once the song is started, we can press enter every time we want to pass on the next syllable. Let's see the example.
Once we have finished, the song stops and we can check and eventually correct the lyrics we added. By clicking on the Get Car icon, we can modify words positioning or correct errors. Same procedure if you want to add the chords. The English notation will be used. Every time we press enter, we'll pass on the next chord, and so on. Let's see the complete work. A brand new feature is the YouTube search. Thanks to this feature we can search songs from the extensive YouTube catalog. But, as we said before, an internet connection is needed and we have to follow YouTube terms and conditions. In this example we can search for the Bad Girl song by Madonna and save the link in one of our 39 song lists. We can force the song to start after some seconds in order to skip the intro. In this case, we can force the song to start after 8 seconds. We can even search for the chosen song on YouTube using a list of songs already uploaded into the WinLive. This song selection is updated weekly by our ProMusic software staff. For example, let's search for the song The Show Must Go On.
Let's see now the background feature. We can use this feature to fill the downtimes between poses. Select background music under the tools menu or simply right click on the background button. You should see a window in which you can import your songs. Use the random function if you want to play the background songs in shuffle. We can choose the background volume and a fade in or a fade out. And even cut the initial silence. Let's close this window and see an example. Let's play a song, let it finishes and see what happens. Well, the background is playing with all the options we had. Let's get back to our work and the background song will slowly fade out. Let's see now the audio sampler by clicking on the icon on the bottom right or by pressing the S key on the keyboard. This function lets you use some samples that will overlay songs. It's possible to upload 100 files, audio files or image files, divided in 10 banks. Let's upload some files and images. In first and second position we add some sounds. In third and fourth position we upload some images. And in fifth position we upload the file and we will loop it so it will play continuously. Let's see the result. We can play the uploaded files simply by pressing the corresponding number. For musicians, and not only, we have a proper drum machine that can play various rhythms in order to play songs live. For example, it's possible to play a song while viewing the scrolling lyrics and at the same time playing a rhythm. Let's listen to some fills and variations.
It's even possible to synchronize MIDI files with the same rhythm for making a medley. Let's select, for example, the Bachata 2 rhythm, set the tempo by clicking on Tempo Lock and play the rhythm. The Explorer feature, typical of other karaoke software like Vambasco, allows us to play songs opening the physical folders on your hard drive. It's really immediate but pretty limited compared to the use of the database. But this feature has got the advantage of exploring all the folders on your PC even if the songs are not important in the database. This feature doesn't want to be compared to INDJ software, but it's just a little help for whoever wants to have fun with typical DJ's tools and features. Let's see how to use it. Let's open a song list and play a song. We can book the next song by pressing the spacebar. We can see the waveform and eventually Move the cursor to the start of the song, then press the Auto Mix key or the Y key on the keyboard and so on. We can use the touchpad to add effects to our songs. Win Live can be used even by musical groups and bands in order to manage their backing tracks. If there is a drummer in the band, then we need to give him a metronome click. Let's see the example for a MIDI file. Let's try with this MIDI file, I believe I can fly. Open up the mixer, mute the drum channel and select the metronome icon. Save the changes and play the song again with the MIDI click.
Of course, we'll need an extra MIDI out for the drum or an audio metronome using the PC sound card. We can change these settings by clicking on Tools, Options and MIDI Options 1. Let's see now the most frequent case. We have an audio file and therefore we will add an audio click. We will use the files from I believe I can fly, but in audio format this time. Let's listen to the two files we have created using an external sequencer as Cubase. The first file is the song without the drum track. The second file is the click. Let's see how easily the two files can be associated to each other in WinLive. We must go into database and upload the click file under the media column of the song. Let's go back in performance mode and play the song. We can listen to the click synchronized with the song. We can regulate the volume using this cursor. Of course we will use a second sound card if we want to give the click output to the drummer. Settings for this feature can be found in Tools, Options and Audio Options. Here we can see our 40 song list. We can rename them. Activate the stop function for each file. Mute the melody channel for each MIDI files. And choose a sorting method by various criteria. The quick icons are customizable shortcuts that can be used to launch some features. For example, the third icon is associated to the Metro Drummer. But we can customize it and associate the icon, for example, to the melody bar. Let's see how to do it. Well, for the last chapter we will see the events window that allows us to add some events and associate them to MIDI, audio or video files. 
Here's a complete list of all the events we can associate to our files. For example, we'll try to add to a MIDI file a PDF song sheet, a keynote change, a harp sound, and a song sheet page change. Let's see. Select the song, prepare the PDF file we want to associate to it. At the chosen time, we will add the event. Prepare the keynote change, for example, two semitone above. Then prepare the harp sound. Add the harp sound. And so on. Same thing for the page change. Of course, we can modify the event's position in the time column. Save it and see the result. Well, we've explored some of the WinLive Pro Synth 9 features. For more details, please read our manual or contact us. As we said, WinLive success is due to all our customers' advices that, during these 25 years, helped us to improve our software. The first WinLive version dates back to 1994. Pro Music Software is a software house specialized in software for musicians, musical groups, singers, and karaoke enthusiasts. To purchase our products, please visit our website at promusicsoftware.com or ask to your trusted dealers. Have fun! <laughs>